so after 10 years, my scales have finally died. All right. Not that big a deal though, because what I like to do in this video was explain to people about the, the weight on the scales and how it's not always massively rele relevant to the progress that you're making. So, what I mean by that is if you weigh yourself, what time of the day have you weighed yourself? If you're weighing yourself at different times, potentially your weight's going to be slightly different. So, whether you weighed yourself in the morning, whether you weighed yourself in at night, what have you ate that day as well? So, there's loads of things that can um, kind of compromise what the, what the numbers are doing and what they're actually telling you on some of the things you might have been doing and some of the things you might have been eating. So, if you were to have, for instance, more salt in your diet, more salt, more sodium, it's going to hold water. So the more water intake your body's holding, it's going to reflect that in the scales. It's either going to tell you you've not lost any weight or you maybe gained weight because of the amount of sodium you've had. Also, carbohydrates are a factor. If you have more carbohydrates in your diet than when you did previously to the last weigh-in, that could potentially, again, show a, a negative loss or a gain. Now, carbohydrates can hold up to four times the amount of weight um, and water retention. So if you were to eat um, 100 grams of carbohydrates, it's potentially going to hold up to about 400 grams in weight. Now, 450 grams of weight equates to a pound. So if you were to eat 450 grams of food weight, which isn't that uncommon for a, a, can, a normal meal potentially, um, then again, that's going to potentially lead to an extra pound in body weight, but doesn't mean you've gained a pound of body fat, you've just, that's physically sitting in your digestive system. So again, what food's sitting in there from the day, the day before, um, have you been to the bathroom and there's still food sitting there that you haven't got rid of yet? So again, that's that's gonna equate to extra weight. Um, females, if, if you're on a time in a month, that can affect the hormone balance, that can affect the weight. Again, an obvious one for you guys. So that's just a thing. Um, to kind of look at how much water have you actually consumed over the last day, the last day or two. So all these things adding up together, or even just on their own, can equate to um, not seeing a result on the scales and potentially seeing the negative result of a weight gain on the scales if you're trying to lose weight. So what I'd advise guys is don't always focus on what the numbers are saying on the scales. It's not something I focus on a lot with all of my clients. Some people do use it and I use it in a reference to see where they're moving, maybe to work out their nutrition goals based on their current weight. Um, but I don't look at it as something that I go by, like, okay, weight's up um, or weight's down. I go on other factors like, um, like measurements, um, how the clothes are fitting, progress pictures, and that's a more accurate way to actually see if you're making progress in the right way, rather than just focusing on the scale weight and all the factors that I've mentioned um, can actually make it a negative rather than a positive.